All right, so you guys, after that, let's head into our second topic of the conversation, and that is um, yen versus sterling too. But however, this is what I would like to show you guys first, and that is um, Alchemist Sterling posing with the UFC bantamweight title. <laughs> um, personally, I think this looks uh, kind of bad. It's just the fact that as you guys may know at the UFC 259 he was well he won the belt it's just the way that he won it you know what he he was crying he's saying that he 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 did not wanted to win the belt well the belt the way that he did and this to me guys this looks um this this looks really bad it's just the fact that um, come on man you're not sorry that you won it the way you did i mean you're walking around parading it you're posting it with uh, you know, I don't know who that guy is. It might be a fan. It might be his trading partner. It might be someone from the gym. It might be one of his friends. But this um, this does not look good. This does not look good. So Aljo, um, a bit of friendly advice, my friend. Um, please don't do this. It's just the fact that, as you may know, that there are a few fighters and fans and even not me i thought that he was generally um sincere when he said that he did not win did win that he said that he not he did not want to win the belt the way that he did i thought it seemed very sincere but there has been a lot of people saying that well that's a it's a nice act and you know what you, you doing this my friend you are proving these guys right you are proving your haters right i did not want to see that but it's too late, it's out there, it is what it is. So let's get back into our topic of the conversation and that is when should Peter Yan face um, Alchemist Sterling for a rematch from UFC 259 with the disqualification um, illegal knock, illegal knee that prevent Alchemist Sterling from continuing to compete for the, the title that he just won? Okay, let's say he won that belt. You know what? I went to win. So, right now, you guys, this is March 8th. Let's say, we'll give him four months. So, March, April, May, June, July. July 1st. July 1st weekend. Or mid-July. Because, well, that's the date that I'm thinking of. I think that should be enough time. So that is my quick thought on this, you guys. T t tell me what you think. And um, okay, wait, no, you know what? There's a few more that there's a few more things that I would like to say, and that is, as you guys may know, I was rooting for Alchemy Sterling go going to this fight, and I thought I believe that he's winning the first two rounds, but how we're in round two and three, it seems like Pity Yan was making was making a turnaround, was making that push heading into the final championship round and it seems to me that the tide was turning and also on top of that like I just mentioned I thought that he that Alger won first one and two but round two it could be up for debate it could be well it's 50 50 but how are round three and four I could see the ref I could see well round three and four to me it, it wasn't that much of, of a debate it's just the fact that it seems like he clearly won. Well, okay, he he was winning on round four until that knees happened. So it seems to me like um, Peter Yan was on his way to defending the the title until that happened, and he really impressed me, P Peter Yan, because if this was to happen again, if this rematch would happen like right away. Like you said, around July, about four months into it. Alchemy Sterling, he needs to up his game. Because if he chew up the way that he did, heading into that fight, I could see him losing. And I could see him, lo I could see him losing in a definite fashion. I could have been seeing um, Pretty Yan even go out as finishing him within their rematch. So, yeah. So that's my quick thought on when that fight should happen. Like I said, around July, June, July, August, maybe August. But preferably, prefer, okay. 
mid July or early August. There it is, mid July or or early August.